This year's been just a, a thrill. It's weird because it's my senior year. That enough is kind of crazy, but the girls have been doing an incredible job. I'm really proud of them, and we're just having a lot of fun, and that's kind of my focus too this, with this year is just to celebrate it because it's my last year. What, uh, you know, what change, I mean, I know, obviously you've always been great, but what, is it hard to improve, like, uh, you know, when you're at such a high level already? Yeah, I definitely think there's an element of, you know, putting pressure on myself because of the success I've had in the past. And same with the team as well, but um, I found that my success this year is because of the team. You know, they've helped me the whole way and just not having that pressure because I can rely on them to have my back and know that if I have a mistake, it's okay because they are still going to do well themselves, so it's okay. Cool. Now, you're ranked number eight in the country and tomorrow a big meet with number seven UCLA coming mm -hmm. through. Kind of talk about what's going to be like tomorrow night? Tomorrow night's going to be amazing. First of all, it's our pink out, so that's kind of when we get the biggest attendance. And I think it's a really big rivalry that we're going to have, so I'm really excited just to kind of have that excitement and almost prepare ourselves for the Pac-12s, regionals, and nationals, because that's where this team is headed to. And I'm really excited to just kind of get that good practice in. Nice to have, a, yeah, like a tough challenge like that, you know, a couple of, you know, like about a month before Pac-12s get started. Yeah, and I think it's always nice for the fans, too. You know, it's just like when our basketball or football team goes against a really good team, you know, the fans are really into it, we're really into it, and it's just, we're all really competitive, so it'll be really interesting to see how it goes. Uh, right now, at this point in the season, do you guys feel like you're a little bit of a bend where you were last year, or are you right about the same spot? You know, it's hard to say. With every year that I've been here, it's always different things happen. But I will say one thing is that this team is really able to deal with adversity really well. We've had some um, odd injuries here and there or changes in lineup. And this team, is it just has so much heart and so much fight that, you know, if something happens, they're there. They're ready to be there. So um, I'd say in that aspect, I'm most impressed with that out of all the four years I've been here. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, give me a second here. Okay. Doing the pink out stuff, you know, like playing, you know, I guess competing for a cause, and I guess you get a little bit more attendance. Yeah, the pink out's incredible because, you know, we're able to combine our passion for gymnastics and at the same time this whole new concept of um, supporting breast cancer awareness. And obviously, it's something important to all of us. And I personally have had family members who've been affected by it. So it's amazing to blend those two passions into one thing and to be able to see all the support from the fans and everything as well is great. Uh, and last question here, I guess, uh, what's the goal for the team this year? Yeah, you, know, you mentioned it earlier, but uh -huh. what are you guys thinking? Our goal this year is to be national champions, and I, you know, I really think we have the potential to be there. We just have to stay, you know, taking one meet at a one meet at a time, one practice at a time, and I know that we can do it. Okay. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? I uh, just hope to see everyone at the pink out and, you know, see you Friday. It'll be great. Okay, great. Thanks, Thanks Leslie.